Hi friends, welcome back. India rise as a space superpower. The incredible sto story of uh, Spadex space docking experiment. Oh wow. अच्छा वो E X is for experiment. ये बिल्कुल ठीक इन्होंने लिखा है नहीं तो लोग S P A पूरा सब कुछ बड़ा बड़ा लिख रहे हैं ना मुझे लगता है ये करेक्ट तरीका होगा. S P A will be probably for space. D X D is for dock and E X. इस फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट पर इसमें ये नहीं समझ में आया कि ई e छोटा और एक्स अच्छा बड़ा इसलिए करा होगा क्योंकि नहीं तो वो डी और ई e में कंफ्यूजन हो जाएगा मतलब देखिए टर्मिनोलॉजी तरीका तो, क्या होगा करेक्ट लिखने का मैं तो वो सोच रही हूँ इंडिया ने अपनी टर्मिनोलॉजी बनाई है दैट्स ओके दैट इज गुड बेसिकली स्पेस डॉकिंग का एक्सपेरिमेंट है पर लिखना लिखना yeah. कैसे चाहिए सारा कुछ कैपिटल में या जिस तरह से इन्होंने लिखा है विच इज द करेक्ट टेक्निक मुझे वो पता करनी है hmm. तो अगर आपको पता हो तो जरूर बताना कैपिटल में सारा होना चाहिए कि एस जैसे इन्होंने लिखा है वैसे होना चाहिए पर वॉट सक्सेस मिल जाए मजा आ जाएगा मिलेगी सक्सेस हाँ, मिले मैं तो मैं तो उसी की प्रे कर रही हूँ कि भैया हमने इतनी मेहनत की होगी बार बार उसको टेस्ट किया होगा यहाँ अर्थ पे ही तो मजा आएगा पर मुझे ये देखना है कि दसवें दिन पे होगा क्या क्योंकि अरे दस दिन लगेंगे तो चलो यार पहले वीडियो देखते हैं वीडियो शुरू करते हैं वीडियो शुरू करने से पहले अगर आप चैनल पर नए हो और आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो जल्दी से पहले सब्सक्राइब के बटन और बेल आइकन को क्लिक कर लो ताकि आपको हमारे सारे न्यू वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए जैसे हम अपलोड करें आपको वीडियो पसंद आता है प्लीज लाइक शेयर चलिए शुरू करते हैं और दूसरे दो चैनल उनको भी सब्सक्राइब कर लेना लिंक से डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में वहाँ पे भी आपके रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियोज आ रहे हैं On 13th December 2024, India launched a mission that will go down as one of the most historic moments in our space journey. This mission is the SpaceX mission. The Indian Space Agency (ISRO) is gearing up for an exciting mission. ISRO वो काम करने वाला है जो उसने आज तक कभी नहीं किया. Prepares to launch its groundbreaking space mission. SpaceX. 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 Today it is so hard to believe how far we have come. Once while the Soviets and Americans were racing to the moon and building their space empires, we in India were fighting to feed our people and rebuild our country. While the Americans were sending astronauts to walk on the moon, we were transporting satellite parts on our bullock carts. While the Soviets were showcasing their space stations, we were waiting in line to use second hand equipment from these powerful nations. But today as the SpaceX rocket roars into the sky, it carries more than just payloads. It carries the hopes and dreams of 1.4 billion Indians. Gaganyaan. Gaganyaan. Jab antariksh mein jayega, Hindustani le kar ke jayega. Hindustan ke vaigyaniko ke dwara hua, Hindustan ke purushan ke dwara hua hoga. Tab vishva ke andar hum chauthe desh ban jayenge. सब मोदी जी का विशन है वो चाहते हैं सब तभी हो रहा है तो पहले कब क्या हो रहा है India is not just launching a rocket; it is launching itself into the elite club of space mm. ferry giants. Mm. This club includes only three nations mm. as of now: the United States, Russia, and China. And now, India is going to be a part of this elite club. A technology which has been mastered only by Russia. America and China will be the first of its kind for India and proving that India is ready for even more ambitious projects. India is entering into a completely new domain. The SpaceX mission is India's call to the future, a future where our children will look at the sky not as a limit but as a playground. And as the rocket breaks through the clouds, it carries the weight of history and the promise of a better tomorrow. The world has watched America and Russia rule the space for decades, mm. but now it's India's turn to lead, yes. and lead we will with the boldness of a billion hearts beating as one. This is not just a launch; this is a moment that says India has risen, and we are never looking back. The question is why is this SpaceX launch such a big deal for India how will this experiment work and how will it change the face of India This video is brought to you by Communication Masterclass course. Are you a shy and introverted kind of person? Do you get anxious to speak it out in front of people? Dusra hoga wo reusable chahiye hai craft. When you do not get the rocket bhejne hai agla reusable chahiye. Then you must join our community. You will learn how to speak with clarity to master story boost your confidence. The best part is I'll be conducting 26 lives 
So if you're ready to take your community, transform their lives with the communication masterclass course, and I will see you. Chalo, let's start from the basics and see what exactly is this SpadeX mission. People, the SpadeX mission stands for Space Talking Experiment, mm. and it is by far the most historic step in India's journey of space exploration. And here's what is going to happen in this launch. ISRO is going to launch a rocket with two important satellites in it. Each of these satellites weigh 220 kgs. While one is called the chaser, the other is called the target. Now, when the rocket goes up, these satellites will be launched in space in different directions to keep them 10 to 20 kilometers apart. And both these satellites will start traveling at a staggering speed of 28,800 kilometers both per hour. Or 8 lakh centimeters per second. Now do you realize these satellites will move almost 10 times faster than a bullet. And while traveling at this staggering speed, ISRO is going to make them do something absolutely crazy. ISRO is going to make them do a space handshake. So here's what will happen next. These two satellites, while traveling at 28,800 kilometers per hour, they will coordinate their moment using thrusters in such a way that the relative speed yeah. will come down to just 0.036 km per hour, as mm. in just yeah. one centimeter per second. Which means if the chaser is moving at 8 lakh centimeters per second, the target will move at 7 lakh 999,999 yeah. centimeters per second. And this, my dear friends, is what he said. Because even the smallest move is going to be able to move. And the chaser will be able to move. The chaser will be able to stop in space. Millimeter level accuracy. And then slowly, at 28,800 kilometers per hour speed, the advanced sensors and computers will analyze every millimeter of movement even the micro angle of movement in such a way that both these satellites can latch onto each other mm. this act is called docking and this docking maneuver is so delicate and so unbelievably complex that even the smallest mistake could end it all in a flash and when these two satellites no, will lock together out there in the vast so not space, and come back a little bit it's not just a docking not going to it blast. is india shaking hands with its destiny and when the stars look down on us tonight they won't see a poor country they will see of a course. rising superpower and this to the next question way. Why are we spending so much money to dock these satellites together? And what is the advantage that this experiment is about to give us? The first challenge that this docking will solve for is the satellite launch cost. Did you know, today when a satellite runs out of fuel or develops a technical glitch, we have no choice but to launch a brand new satellite. Now mind you, each satellite launch today is so costly that it costs us anywhere between 30 to 40 thousand dollars per kilo of payload. Mm. So if you launch a 200 kilo satellite with an average cost of 35 thousand dollars per kilo, it will cost us 7 million dollars or 56 crore yeah, rupees. And a polar also. satellite launch vehicle costs us 200 to 250 crores. But by mastering docking, India can send up a specialized repair or refuel vehicle which can service these satellites in the orbit yeah, itself. Right. And if we succeed in this yeah, experiment, we can service Other nations these satellites do it today. and extend their lifespans by five long years. So this mission will make Indian satellite missions far more economical yeah. and competitive. Secondly, it gives us the superpower to launch our own space station, which we are calling the Bharat Antariksh mm. Station or mm. BAS. This mm. space station is going to be launched by wow. 2035. Sure. But here's the problem. You see, the space station is almost like a building and you can't launch the entire space station talking. in one mm. piece. You have to launch all the pieces separately Puzzle and in space, space, these pieces are supposed to be assembled together. So every piece has to do the space handshake mm. which requires the super skill of yeah. talking. And the SpadeX mission is being executed to acquire this skill. And more Wait importantly, no, 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 no. once we have a space station, it again pushes us to the cutting edge of science and technological research. Yeah. On top of that, by 2040, mm. India is planning to send an Indian astronaut mm. to the moon. Mm. And with Chandrayaan 4, we aim to bring back lunar samples. Both of these missions will require precise docking technology. This is the second superpower that SpadeX mission will give us. Now, you guys might be wondering, why is a business channel like ThinkSchool talking about space exploration? 
<laughs> well, this brings me to the third superpower that SpaceX mission gives us, which is the growth of space business ecosystem in India. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, SpaceX is perhaps the most critical event for both investors and entrepreneurs because it sends out three loud messages to the business ecosystem of India. The first message is the historic public-private partnership in the space sector of India. For the first time ever, a private Indian company assembled satellites for an ISRO mission. This company is called Ananth Technologies. Mm. This sends out a clear message to the venture capitalists that India is now open to private businesses in space. The second message is for the space entrepreneurs of India. Did you know that the Indian government has already announced a rollout of 1000 crore rupees in funding for space startups across five wow. years? And even VCs are pouring in billions of dollars into the space sector of India. These happenings have triggered a massive surge of space startups in India. From just 11 startups in 2019 to 250 startups in 2024, the Indian space sector is growing faster than ever. And lastly, India is importing a lot of important space mission materials from US and Europe at the moment. Mm. We import carbon fiber reinforcement polymers from China mm. and the United States. We import gallium arsenide solar cells from the US mm. and we import cryogenic engine materials from Russia. Mm. So there's a clear message by the Indian government that we need to be self-reliant and we need to substitute these imports with homegrown technologies. Welcome. So any startup that succeeds in this mission will get the support of both the VCs and the Godfather, which is the government of India. And this brings us to the last question, which is what the foreign media often keeps asking us. They say that while India has so <laughs> many poor people, why you. is so? India launching satellites? So to these media houses, I have to tell you that when you you have to progress also. It seems like you need to be educated more than the very people that you presume to lecture. And since your government has not educated you enough, let me do that explanation for you. Let me explain why yeah. India's space program is not a luxury but a necessity. You see, firstly, India's space technology is directly tied to the welfare of its people. Take ISRO satellites for an example. They monitor weather patterns, predict cyclones and help evacuate millions of people in time. In fact, in 2019, when Cyclone Fanny hit, India saved over 1 million lives because of satellite-based disaster management. Secondly, satellite communication is supporting financial inclusion in India. It connects 1.25 lakh VSAT ATMs in India to the internet and annually this allows 5 billion ATM transactions. And lastly, satellite driven precision agriculture helps farmers by forecasting monsoons and it helps them optimize crop planning. This benefits over 120 million small scale farmers in India, many of whom depend on accurate data to survive. So satellites are not a waste of money, they are life saving and they are necessary for the people of India. And for every 1 rupee that ISRO gets, oh, it yeah. gives back 2.5 rupees to the people of India. Mm. So I think you should stop worrying about the hungry people in India <laughs> and you should take care of the drug addicts in your own country. <laughs> this is the vision, challenge and progress of India in the space sector with this mission which is called the SpaceX mission. And I just hope you learned something valuable from this case study. That's all from my side for today guys. If you learned something valuable, please make sure to the like button in order to make YouTube ever happy. And for more such insightful business and political case studies, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. This is clear that both move kar rahi hongi. And then we will talk about it. Because we have done Prashant Dhawan video, I have told you that my understanding is that you have to do it. I have told you that one is going to be standing and the other is going to be standing and the target is going to be standing and the chaser is going to move. I have told you that the target is going to be standing and the chaser is going to be standing. I have told you that. Orbit may rank in or chop chop is content of orbit me relatively aqua lagraga come move correct but don't get don't move correct relative to each other theater they come on your ass on a kid don't say bank a blast or jaga what he is saying a bot is slow speeds a touch going in a dog who are up is young again they're going to attempt to docking yeah so many times they will attempt to dock, eventually it will dock. That is, they want to do the first step. In some movies, you have seen how many movies have been docking in Hollywood. I remember when I saw the first time, I was very impressed. I said, boy, this is a great technique and thought. They were saying that in 40 years ago, the other countries have done it. Finally, India is doing it because it is very critical. Very important. To make our space station. Yes, to show our power to the world. If you compete with China, China has already made a space station. You have to make your own space station. They have sent their astronauts to the space station. They have sent their astronauts to the space station. 2040 में तो अभी 10 साल पीछे चल रहे हैं बट 
आप ये देखिए चौथी कंट्री है मतलब इतना डिफिकल्ट काम है कि और कंट्री सारी पीछे है स्पेशली इसको शौक सिर्फ लगा होगा यूरोप को और जापान को इसका शौक लगा होगा क्योंकि वो पीछे हो गए अब अब हो गया उनको लगता चौथे हम होंगे पता लगा नहीं चौथी इंडिया है वो हैरान तो सबसे ज्यादा शौक उन लोगों को है जो अचीव नहीं कर पाए बिल्कुल तो चलो आप भी शेयर करना अपने थॉट्स चलते हैं मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में बहुत ही जल्द टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय बाय तो अगर आप मेरे इस चैनल पे नए हो तो जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब के बटन को हिट करो और बेल आइकन को क्लिक करो ताकि आपको मेरा जब नया वीडियो में लगाऊ आपको उसके बारे में जल्दी ऐसी पता चल जाए